Film director, writer and producer Patricia Rosimer shot to fame in 1987 when her feature film directorial debut I've Heard the Mermaid Singing won the Prix de la Jeunesse at the Cannes Film Festival. The film focuses on a daydreaming assistant to a lesbian curator who yearns to be sophisticated and cosmopolitan. Gosh, you know, sometimes I think my head is like a, a gas tank. Receiving a large amount of international press attention, the film also enjoyed box office success. That was huge for me. I've raised a Calvinist, so I'm kind of always preparing myself to not to expect kind of reward. Do it for the right reason, and what comes to you will come to you. Rosina's upbringing meant television was severely restricted during her childhood, and her first cinema experience happened when she was 16 years old. Still in her 20s, at the time I've heard The Mermaid Singing was released, Rosima was part of the Toronto New Wave, a group of filmmakers celebrated for producing fresh and original films that bucked historical trends and countered Hollywood's formulaic style. I don't know if you've checked your laundry yet, I think we did a switcheroo. Although shunned by critics, when Night is Falling, which premiered at the 45th Bill and International Film Festival in 1995, went on to win over 30 awards at LGBT film festivals around the world. Camille, I'd love to see you in the moonlight with your head thrown back and your body on fire. Rosima directed the Grammy-nominated Six Gestures in 1997, part six of the Inspired by Bach television series. Starring ice skating stars Torval and Dean, the film won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Classical Music Dance Program. <laughs> With local funding for independent films a growing challenge, Rosmo's work is increasingly funded overseas. Third film came around, it's getting more difficult, and now that's really very hard. British film Mansfield Park, released in 1999, saw Rosma both write and direct the film adaption of Jane Austen's classic novel, with emphasised homoerotic undertones. I might teach something as pleasant to you. Based on the Kit Kettridge stories by Valerie Tripp, Kit Kettridge, An American Girl, 2008, stars Stanley Tucci and follows the life of an empowered young girl keen on a career in journalism. Do you swear to be true to the Treehouse Club? And if anyone should ask you to join the Ninth Street Club, I will laugh in their faces. Rosamund's more recent work includes the 2015 apocalyptic drama Into the Forest, which centers on two strong female lead roles. There's nothing. In 2018, her feature film Mouthpiece got its premiere in Canada, following a woman with two opposing voices in her head as she tries to organise her mother's funeral. Through the years, Patricia Rosma has also worked on many television series, including CBC's period drama And With An E. Girls can do anything a boy can do, and more. Well, that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch our daily bulletins throughout the week at Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.